Well, hi, this is Sunday Gardner, your online travel boss. Again, we are here for another installment of Journey in Entrepreneurship, and we have Anita Charlo with us today. I am so super glad that she is here. She is CEO, dating relationship and marriage coach, keynote speaker, and international best-selling author. How are you doing, Anita? I am well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I am so glad to have you. And Anita is going to be continuing with us as we all throughout this week have talked with amazing women about their journey in entrepreneurship. And so if you've been participating all week, and as you know, if you like what you're hearing, please do not forget to share this out and let your friends and family know about how amazing it is to be an entrepreneur and hear the stories that we're going through this week. All right, so Anita, let's get started. I am so glad that you were able to join us because you have got the tea for us. So tell me how long you've been an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur since 1999. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So tell me what was the, the catalyst or the thing that made you decide to jump into entrepreneurship? Sure. So I am, I am what we call the entrepreneur that has one foot in and one foot out. And I've been doing that, you know, for quite some time. Um, the reason why I became an entrepreneur was because I decided when I walked away from my, uh, my marriage, I was married previously and that marriage was very um, abusive. And I walked away from that marriage and I searched for uh, a coach or uh, we didn't really have dating and relationship coaches back then. Mm -hmm. So I was searching for uh, um, an psychologist, a psychotherapist, a psychoanalyst. I saw a social worker and LCSW. I saw the pastor. I saw the hands-on healer. I saw everybody. Everybody to help. Yeah. Everybody to help, you know, and it was, and it was to help me get back to myself and to help me understand what was happening, why I chose the man that I chose, how I could go from being up here, you know, emotionally level of confidence to being down here dressing in, in little house on the prairie dresses and, you know, just being, going from being vibrant to being very demure and very um, uh, scared to look yeah. up at people, yeah. you know, that whole thing. Yeah. Uh, my whole personality changed. And so each time I would go see someone different, they just could not give me what I needed. Yes. Some of them made me feel worse, <laughs> you know, but, but instead of getting better. And so I said this, Something has to give. And then yeah, a woman from work, right. this, is, this is not right. A woman from work um, didn't know anything about my situation um, personally. Like she didn't know details, but she saw the change. Yes. She had um, suggested that I go see her metaphysician. Okay. Metaphysician. Metaphysician is the, the equivalent to like a universal or a spiritual psychologist. Okay. All right. So they deal with energy and, you know, um, all things spiritual, different tools or in their in their toolkit from different religions and things like that and so i was like well i've tried everything else i may as well yeah, go. why not that's right why not um so within like the first um she told me she said do not put your foot on the doorstep until your exact time and i was like okay this is really woo woo yeah right? like, okay like time of the day <laughs> or like what, what do you mean i know right? i know <laughs> our point uh, what do you mean <laughs> i was like okay but I, but I, so I followed directions, but when she opened the door, she took one look at me and she said, come here. And she gave me this huge hug. And she said, I don't know how you're still standing. Oh, wow. That is exactly how I was feeling. And yeah. the other 10 people that I had seen before that didn't even get that after yeah. talking to me. But she said it as soon as I walked in the door. And my Felt experience that energy. with yeah. her, for like the next, I only saw her like two sessions. The first session lasted like an hour and a half. And I felt more understood, um, more loved, right? She wasn't just a job for her. This was, yes. she was really into this and she really cared. And by whatever means, she was able to tap into the energy that I was feeling and to share with me the things that I had been thinking. I hadn't told anybody those things. Yes. So that was like an eye opener for me. And we discovered that, of course, I was angry. I had been married this man and here he stood in front of my family and God and 
you know, promise to love, honor, and cherish, but this is the same man that laid his hands on me, right? Yes. So she said, I want you to come back whenever you're ready. She said, a lot of my clients, you know, don't, aren't able to do this right away. And even if it's a couple of years later, just come to me. And she's like, you need to do a rage work session. You need to get that aggression out. I was like, well, I don't have time to wait a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get this done now. Like, <laughs> right, I need this now. Uh, yeah. I need this now. And so I went the next month, went through the rage work session, and then my life started to turn around after that. Okay. Because of my experience with her, she, working with her, um, inspired me to get my very own degree in metaphysics. So I have a bachelor's oh, wow. in metaphysics. And then when I thought about it, because I had to search everywhere looking for her, I decided that I was going to become that for other people. That need that other people must have. That's right. Correct. That's correct. Okay. And so that's when I embarked upon um, my entrepreneurship journey. Okay. Well, that is great in terms of you had a major, you know, experience yourself um, and you had a journey on finding someone that then led you to where you are. So, you know, 19, you said 1999, nine, nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from there, you know, that was almost 20, that's 20 years this year. Mm -hmm. um, what were some of, you know, two to three struggles that you first had when you first um, became an entrepreneur? Right. So um, the main one was work-life balance mm. because while I was still working and trying to heal and trying to build this business, I also had two small children. Mm -hmm. And so learning how to manage my time was extremely oh. important. Learning yeah. how to do those things, you know, how you pack the lunch the night before, right. or, you know, you get somebody to pick up the kids or you trade nights with the woman upstairs. She has two boys. Yeah. You, if can the boys come upstairs with you on Wednesdays, that way I could work on the business. Yes. You, know, you have to find that time. You have to find the balance. But I also, in doing that, in working, in building the business and raising my sons by myself, I also carved out time for me. So fortunately for me, I was able to, every other weekend, my sons went with their dad. Yes. And so I had that, that time. That was my time to really work on me when I couldn't, you know, break down and cry, you know, during the week. Yes. I would go, okay, look, you save it for the I weekend. <laughs> Let me see. We can cry on. <laughs> You're scheduling Saturday. it. You know, I've got one fifteen available. Exactly. Right? So let's go. <laughs> Exactly. So do all your crying on Saturday the 17th between 9 and 9.30 because then you have to leave to go wherever you need to go. You to get enough time to get yourself together because you've yes. got something at 11.30 that you've got to be to. Yes. You not yes. have swollen eyes. <laughs> yes. So that's, that's one of those things. And um, if there had been, like she was, Donna was her name. Donna was good, you know, for services stuff, but she wasn't, um, she wasn't, like a trainer. So she wasn't a coach. So if I had an opportunity at that time to work with a coach that was in my field and successful in my field, then I would have done so. Yes. But I didn't have that. So not having that meant that I had to spend years of trial and error. That's right. Years of spending money, wasting money with different programs and different coaches that were not even where I was at the time. You know, you pay all this money because they say they look good on the internet, on the webpage. Mm -hmm. Then you get in the program and you're like, girl, I could have taught this class. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same stuff I found on the internet before I found the class. Right, right. <laughs> yes. So those were a couple of the things that, that really stuck out for me. Yes. So, um, you know, many of the people, actually all of the people that are in my community are new. Um, they're either new entrepreneurs or they've jumped and they're looking to try and, you know, make their business better. And all, most all of my community are people who are interested in the travel area, but a lot of them are in the same position that you were, which is they are, uh, they were working a job and then they're working on their business part time um, or, or getting ready to start. And so, the work-life balance that you mentioned is super important. And then also, um, you know, going through the trial and error and that that's big for a lot of us. What are some of the things that you would recommend for somebody who is right there on the verge of jumping? Um, what would you tell them to do? Like what would be some tips or recommendations you'd have for the person just about to jump? They haven't done it, but they're thinking about it. 
Yeah. Well, one, you have to, you have to study the industry. You know, you have to, one, figure out what you want to do. That's the first thing. And then you have to study the industry enough. Watch the people who are, um, who are, um, who are already in the industry and are doing well. And then if you can, you know, listen to, my thing is I like to listen to a lot of other coaches. I like to read books written by other coaches because sometimes you may think you want to be a part of something, but then when you get into it, you're like, mm, uh-uh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. It's good. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. So you, you need to, you know, do your research first. You need to understand the industry. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, um, you need to, once you understand the industry, you need to understand what it's going to take in order to start. What's go- what time is going to be required. What uh, financial um, commitments are going to be required. And then if you need to, you need to plan accordingly. Don't just jump without a parachute completely. (laughs) You need to have some sort of idea of what you're jumping into. You need to, you definitely need to have a coach, a coach that is successful in the industry that you plan to go into. Even if you don't stay in that industry, going with a coach that is, is, uh, that understands the industry and that is doing well in that industry, that coach is going to give you the ins and outs. And you can then determine whether or not this is something that you want to do, or if it is, what part of your life are you going to have to make some adjustments in, in order to make this happen? That's perfect. Yep. You know, and then, you know, the last thing I want to say is don't really, don't expect your friends and family to be where your source of income comes from in this business. Yes, source of income or motivation for that matter. Correct, <laughs> correct. You know, people think they're helping you. Oh, you know, why don't you wait? Or, oh, I don't know if you want to do that. I know so many people who have done that and have not, you know, been successful. Yeah, I think you would be better served as something else. I think you need to mind your business. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> Those will be the I famous think, last words. I think you right? need to mind your own business. <laughs> you need to mind your business. Yes. If this is something that is on your heart, you know, whatever it is, then you go for it and you can always change your mind. You can always right. change directions. But don't let the naysayers and the people who refuse to, out of fear or out of comfort, you know, keep you from doing what it is you feel you want and you need to do. Absolutely. Because you never want to show up like 20 years later or people always say this, but it's so true. I hear people get to, you know, the certain part of their life, especially now since I'm 53, people now are like, oh my God, I wish I would have say that. You just make me so excited because I hope to look <laughs> just as half as beautiful as you do at 53. So. <laughs> I just love that. Say it again, I'm 53 because I'm like, you give me so much inspiration. <laughs> Oh, eight years to, to get there. So. Yes, yes, honey. It's no BS, right? You do. I got this way by, and we're taking a sidebar now, but I'm going to go ahead and put it out there because maybe somebody else needs to hear it. I got this way by getting really clear on what I wanted in life. And it's important. Really clear on what I wanted. And then forgiving myself for the things that I didn't do and the things that I did do. That's powerful. And then giving myself permission to have what I wanted no matter what that looked like. That is great. Realizing that what I do ain't nobody else's spiritual business. That's right. And so you said somebody does need to hear that. And I'm sure there is someone out there who's, who's listening and they need to hear exactly that. Don't be afraid to do exactly what it is that you believe is for you to do, whatever mm-hmm. that may be. Um, and it is no one's spiritual business or physical business or any other right. business <laughs> as it relates to that. So right. that's mm-hmm. good stuff. Okay. So let's talk about your business and what you do in your business and how, because the, the great thing is, Every one of us is in some sort of relationship, right? Either romantic or non-romantic. Tell us, tell us about you and your business. Well, um, in my business, I am a dating relationship and marriage coach. However, that tends to include life coach as well, mm-hmm. right? Because you can't be in relationships, any sort of relationships and not have life step in every now and then, right? <laughs> and interrupt it or whatever. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. And so my passion, because of my previous uh, life, you know, the life with first marriage is teaching women how to um, heal their hearts, build healthy, authentic relationships, and even mend their marriages 
by using spiritual and practical concepts. So I do that through, you know, writing books. I do that through Facebook Lives, through workshops. I have a Relationship Architect Academy is my online dating, marriage, and relationship school that I have, which, you know, has a monthly membership there as well. So there are different classes there that you can take. Um, currently in the process of rebranding to separate it out for a single and committed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say married is great and I'm married, but sometimes people are committed life partners and there is no marriage. So I don't want them to feel excluded. So it's single or committed, right? Okay. Um, and then, you know, lately, um, what I've decided or what I've realized is that the biggest, um, group of women who are single and just can't seem to figure it out are professional women, Mm -hmm. right? Women who are not willing to, and they shouldn't have to, and they don't, if they know what to do, they shouldn't have to dumb themselves down or dim their lights (laughs) in order to have a relationship. And so those, you know, those women, because they're not willing to do that are just like, "Mm, never mind, I'm good. I'm good. I'll just stay single if that's what I'll just stay single. Right. But, in their heart of hearts, they really want someone that connects with them. Yes. And so I have made it my goal and my mission to help show those women, help prepare them, and then help them um, attract the man that is perfectly imperfect for them, the man that will be a complement to their life, not a complication. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> a compliment, not a complication, and the man that will love them for them, being the strong woman and all. Mm-hmm. But sisters, as professional women, there are things that you have to do to prepare in order to date. And I believe I gave you a link I, to, you did? Uh, uh, where they can download 10 tips. Up or below. <laughs> <laughs> to help them prepare to open up their, their hearts and their lives to date again. Because we don't realize that it's not just me saying, okay, I'm open. But if your life, if you haven't made room in your life for a partner, then there's no room for that partner to come in. That's, a, that's really great that you say that. Because, you know, I, I, I'm just listening. And you said make room. And that, you know, I don't even think we think of it that way, that you're like, I want, I want a partner. I've got room, but you probably don't. Just like you said, you've to schedule sometimes. I mean, some of us are on that type of a schedule where we've got a schedule in our cry time and yes. it's scheduled in that your connection or your ability to relate to someone else or even go out on dates, that, that, that's pretty powerful, that realization. So I, I like that. The fact that you, I, I didn't even think about that. I don't know ascertain <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. They have all the civic organizations, they have sorority meetings, they have church, they have, you know, some of us at this point in our lives are taking care of, you know, elderly parents and That's then right. we're together with the girls and then we have grandkids or we have kids and it gets, your life becomes so full that you don't realize that you don't have time. So this list is going to help you to identify the areas in your life that you need to pay attention to in order to just open up yourself, um, your mind, your space, your heart, and your energy to being able to send out the right energy in order to attract the right person back. That's great. This is um, the top 10 things that you can do. And then um, I also do uh, 90 minute sessions and I have eight and 12 week programs. Okay. So for your um, guests and your viewers today, I have, I'm offering a 25% discount on the 90 minute sessions. That's awesome. Thank you. So you're welcome. And so the, um, I'll give you, I think I've provided you with the link, but yes. I'll give you the coupon code now. Okay. The coupon code is Sunday Rocks. Hey. All capital letters. <laughs> all capital letters. Um, and I that's open. That's gonna be open until the end of July. Awesome. That's great. Anita, that is amazing. Um that I thank you for uh, giving our community that um, because you know what I can tell you just as an entrepreneur myself um, and having been in this game for what quite a while is that work life balance 
um, and your desire to be so successful, um, oftentimes you do sacrifice your relationships. And when you are, and when it's all said and done, um, you need to pay attention to that because you don't want to be successful and you look around and you either damaged relationships <laughs> and you have done, <laughs> but you're, you know, sitting on top of this empire by yourself. So, um, I think having relationships, we had a financial person too. So I think relationships and finances are like the number two important things um, mm -hmm. in your life in addition to doing what it is that you're called to do. So um, I appreciate that uh, for our community. Um, so thank you so much for sharing um, your journey with us and then also sharing your gifts with us um, to get in contact with Anita. All of her information is, I believe it's above, you know, as long as I've been doing this, I should figure out where Facebook puts the link. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. But depending on where you're watching this, it'll be above or it'll be below in the description. Um, and either way, you'll be able to get in contact with Anita. Um, you also get access to her 10 um, things that you can do. Um, and then also I'll include the coupon code which will be available which is Sunday rocks um, um, until the end of July so Anita it's been great having you on I really appreciate your time today my pleasure thanks again for having me you're welcome have a great day okay you too